Economy of the Dominican Republic The Dominican Republic has the ninth largest economy in Latin America, and is the largest in the Caribbean and Central region. It is an upper-middle-income developing country primarily dependent on mining, agriculture, trade, and services. Although the service sector has recently overtaken agriculture as the leading employer of Dominicans, due principally to growth in tourism and free trade zones, agriculture remains the most important sector in terms of domestic consumption and is in second place, behind mining, in terms of export earnings. Tourism accounts for more than $1 billion in annual earnings. Free trade zone earnings and tourism are the fastest growing export sectors. According to a 1999 International Monetary Fund report, remittances from Dominican Americans are estimated to be about $1.5 billion per year. Most of these funds are used to cover basic household needs such as shelter, food, clothing, health care, and education. Secondarily, remittances have financed small businesses and other productive activities. The Dominican Republic's most important trading partner is the United States, about 40% of total commercial exchange. Other major trade partners are China, Haiti, Canada, Mexico, India, Spain, Brazil, Germany, the United Kingdom and Japan, in that quantitative order. The country exports free trade zone manufactured products, garments, medical devices, and so on, gold, nickel, protection equipment, bananas, liquor cocoa beans, silver, and sauces and seasonings. It imports petroleum, industrial raw materials, capital goods, and foodstuffs. On September 5, 2005, the Congress of the Dominican Republic ratified a free trade agreement with the U.S. and five Central American countries, the Dominican Republic, Central America Free Trade Agreement, CAFTA Doctor. CAFTA Doctor entered into force for the Dominican Republic on 1 March 2007. The total stock of U.S. foreign direct investment, FDI, in Dominican Republic as of 2006 was U.S. $3.3 billion, much of it directed to the energy and tourism sectors, to free trade zones, and to the telecommunications sector. Remittances were close to $2.7 billion in 2006. An important aspect of the Dominican economy is the free trade zone industry, FTZ which made up U.S. $4.55 billion in Dominican exports for 2006, 70% of total exports. Reports show, however, that the FTZs lost approximately 60,000 between 2005 and 2007 and suffered a 4% decrease in total exports in 2006. The textile sector experienced an approximate 17% drop in exports due in part to the appreciation of the Dominican peso against the dollar. Asian competition following expiration off the quotas of the multi-fiber arrangement, and a government-mandated increase in salaries, which should have occurred in 2005 but was postponed to January 2006. Lost Dominican business was captured by firms in Central America and Asia. The tobacco, jewelry, medical, and pharmaceutical sectors in the FTZs all reported increases for 2006, which somewhat offset textile and garment losses. Industry experts from the FTZs expected that entry into force of the CAFTA doctor agreement will promote substantial growth in the FTZ sector for 2007. An ongoing concern in the Dominican Republic is the inability of participants in the electricity sector to establish financial viability for the system. Three regional electricity distribution systems were privatized in 1998 by a sale of 50% of shares to foreign operators. The Mejia administration repurchased all four known shares in two of these systems in late 2003. The third, serving the eastern provinces, is operated by U.S. concerns and is 50% U.S. owned. The World Bank records that electricity distribution losses for 2005 totaled about 38.2%, a rate of losses exceeded in only three other countries. Industry experts estimate distribution losses for 2006 will surpass 40%, primarily due to low collection rates theft, infrastructure problems and corruption. At the close of 2006, the government had exceeded its budget for electricity subsidies, spending close to U.S. $650 million. The government plans to continue providing subsidies. Congress passed a law in 2007 that criminalizes the act of stealing electricity, but it has not yet been fully implemented. The electricity sector is a highly politicized sector and the prospect of further effective reforms of the electricity sector is poor. Debts in the sector, including government debt, amount to more than U.S. $500 million. Some generating companies are undercapitalized and at times unable to purchase adequate fuel supplies. 
states, with almost 80% of the total land area suitable for crop production and about 17% of the labor force engaged in farming, agriculture remains the primary occupation, accounting for 11% of GDP in 2001. Value of agricultural output grew at an average annual rate of 7.1% during 1968-73, but since 1975 the sector has been hampered by droughts 1975, 1977, and 1979, hurricanes, in 1979 and 1980, and slumping world prices and quota allocations for sugar, since 1985. In 1999, Agricultural production was 0.4% higher than during 1989-91. The fertile Sabal Valley is the main agricultural center. In 1998, arable land totaled, with land under permanent crop set. After Cuba, the Dominican Republic is the second largest Caribbean producer of sugar cane, the nation's most important crop. The State Sugar Council operates 12 sugar mills and accounts for about half of total production. Other large producers are the privately owned Vicini with three mills, and Central Romana Corporation, whose mill is the largest in the country. Sugar is grown in the southeastern plains, around Barahona and on the north coast plain. In 1999, sugar production was 4.4 million tons, down from an average of 7.1 million tons during 1989 to 1991. Output of sugar has declined annually since 1982, and land is gradually being taken out of sugar production and switched to food crops. Production of raw sugar rose from 636,000 tons in 1990 to 813,000 tons in 1997 but fell to 374,000 tons in 1999. Part of the crop was destroyed by hurricanes in 1979 and 1980, and 1979-80 80 production was only 670,000 bags, 40,200 tons. Although production was usually about 57,000 to 59,000 tons annually in the 1980s, the acreage harvested declined from in the early 1980s to in 1999, indicating a greater yield per acre. Coffee production in 1999 was estimated at 35,000 tons. Exports of coffee in 2001 generated $11 million. Cocoa and tobacco are also grown for export. Dominican Republic is one of the top 10 major producer and exporter of cocoa in the world. Cocoa is also grown in the Sabao Valley and around San Francisco de Macorís. Tobacco is also grown in the Sabao Valley, but around Santiago. In 1999, production of cocoa beans was 26,000 tons and of tobacco, 35,000 tons. Rice is grown around Monte Cristi and San Francisco de Macorís. Banana production in 1999 was 432,000 tons. Production of other crops in 1999, in thousands of tons, included rice. 563, coconuts, 184, cassava, 127, tomatoes, 281, pulses, 69, dry beans, 26, eggplants, 7, and peanuts, 2. In 2001, Dominican livestock included 187,000 goats and 106,000 sheep. There were also about 2.1 million head of cattle. 60% for beef and 40% for dairy. The hog population was decimated by African swine fever, decreasing from 400,000 in 1978 to 20,000 in 1979. By 2001, however, it was 565,000. Poultry is the main meat source because it is cheaper than beef or pork. Poultry production relies on imports of feed grain from the United States. In 2001, 203,000 tons of poultry meat were produced along with 71,000 tons of beef and 420,000 tons of milk. Although the waters surrounding the Dominican Republic abound with fish, the fishing industry is comparatively undeveloped, and fish for local consumption are imported. In 1837, the total marine catch was 5 ounces, down from 1 pound in 1798. Marlin, barracuda, kingfish, mackerel, tuna, sailfish, and tarpon are found in the Monte Cristi Bank and Samana Bay which also supports Benito, Snapper, and American Grouper. The inland catch amounted to 187 tons in 2000. About 28.4% of the total land area consisted of forests and woodlands in 2000. Roundwood production in 2000 totaled 562,000 cubic meters, 19.8 million cubic foot. Virtually all the timber cut is for land clearing and fuel. Mineral production has stagnated since a slump began in the mid-1980s. In 2000, 
mining accounted for 2% of GDP, which grew by 7.8%. Mining increased by 9.2%, stimulated by higher output and a higher average price of nickel, the country's most important mineral. Fair nickel was the country's leading export commodity and third leading industry. Nickel is mined at Bonau. In 2000, nickel production was 39,943 tons, ranking 10th in the world, a decrease from 49,152 in 1997. Production of gold and silver was suspended in 1999, including at what was, in 1980, the Western Hemisphere's largest gold mine. At Pueblo Viejo. Production was declining by the mid 1980s, so mining of the sulfide zone of the gold ore body was commenced, requiring more extensive processing facilities than had previously existed. Production of gold was 7,651 kg in 1987 and 3,659 in 1996, and of silver, 39,595 kg in 1988 and 17,017 kg in 1996. Operations at the Pueblo Viejo mine have been starting Gagan and currently Barrick Gold is preparing the site. The use of a foreign company for the extraction of gold at the largest mine in the Western Hemisphere has startled and concerned many Dominicans who believe that this gold is Dominican gold and should be extracted by Dominican companies and not foreign. Some groups began to protest against the Barrick Gold in 2009 and 2010. Production of bauxite, traditionally the principal mining product, ceased in 1992. The Aluminum Company of America, Alcoa, mined bauxite between 1959 and 1983, when it turned its concession over to the state. Production in 1991 dropped 92% from the previous year, as a presidential decree suspended mining operations at the largest mine, in response to increasing fears of deforestation, although reforestation of mined areas was in progress. Output averaged 1 million tons each year. The country was one of the few sources of amber in the Western Hemisphere. Salt Mountain, a 16 kilometers block of almost solid salt west of Barahona, was the world's largest known salt deposit. There were also large deposits of gypsum near Salt Mountain, making the Dominican Republic one of three sources of gypsum in the Caribbean. The country also produced hydraulic cement, limestone, marble, and sand and gravel. Substantial lignite deposits were found in the early 1980s. Deposits of copper and platinum are known to exist. The industrial sector contributed an estimated 32.2% to the country's GDP in 1999, led by mining, ferro nickel, gold, and silver, and the manufacture of goods for export to the United States. To a lesser extent, there is the manufacture of food products, consumer non durables and building materials for the local market and for neighboring Haiti. The sector employed made a 24.3% of the workforce in 1998. About 500 companies in the Dominican Republic manufacture goods primarily for the North American market. Situated in 50 industrial free zones around the country, these mostly foreign owned corporations take advantage of generous tax and other financial inducements offered by the government to businesses that operate within the zones. Approximately 200,000 people or about 8% of the workforce, are employed in this sector. They mostly produce clothing, electronic components, footwear, and leather goods, which are assembled. The raw materials or semi-manufactured goods are usually imported duty-free from other developing countries, electronic parts are imported from industrialized Puerto Rico, and put together in the free zones. Products created are cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, textiles, Perfumes and foodstuffs. The value of exports amounted to 1.9 billion U.S. dollars in 1996, but the contribution to the trade balance was only 520 million U.S. dollars because many of the basic materials for the free zone shade to be imported and paid for. Other, more traditional manufacturing is based on sugar refining, cement, iron and steel production, and food processing. Rum is a significant export commodity, and beer and cigarettes are manufactured for local consumption. Most industry of this sort is located around the working-class perimeter of Santo Domingo and other large towns. Services were estimated to contribute 64.7%, 2012 A, of the GDP. In 1999 it was estimated to employ around 58.7% of the workforce, making this the most important sector of the Dominican economy. Since the mid-1980s the tourism sector has become one of the country's most important sources of foreign exchange, and more popular tourist destinations. The country is famous for its favorable location in the Caribbean, tropical climate, beaches, 
and the restored Spanish colonial architecture. Many foreign investors have and continued to be encouraged to invest here to build and expand resorts and airports around the coasts. During this same period, tourism displaced sugar as the main source of the country's earnings, and by 1997 it was generating more than half of the country's total foreign exchange. Tourism is the single biggest revenue earner, with receipts increasing more than tenfold from 173 million US dollars in 1980 to more than 2 billion US dollars by 2000. According to the central bank, the Dominican Republic received 4.3 billion US dollars in revenues from the tourism sector in 2011. Successive governments have invested heavily in tourism development, creating upgraded airports and other infrastructure. 2.1 million tourists arrived in the country in 1999 not including visiting Dominicans. Most come from Europe, with about 25% originating from the United States or Canada. The country now has almost 70,000 hotel rooms, more than any other Caribbean country. About 50,000 Dominicans are directly employed in this sector, mostly working in hotels, and another 110,000 are indirectly employed as taxi drivers, tour guides, or tourist shop staff. Most tourists visit the Dominican Republic on account of its beaches. But there is an expanding ecotourism and outdoor activity sector, focused on the country's mountains and wildlife. Although tourism generates large revenues, some scholars and activists argue that the development of tourism also has high impacts on many socioeconomic aspects. For instance, they argue that it involves ecological deterioration, profit leakage, social displacement, disported cultural patterns, rising land values, drugs, and prostitution. Retail activity in the Dominican Republic takes many forms, from U.S.-style supermarkets and shopping malls in Santo Domingo to rural markets and tiny family-run corner store sign villages. A small but affluent middle class can afford to shop at the former, while the large impoverished rural community resorts to buying small amounts of daily essentials from Colmados, small stores that often double as bars. In an attempt to regulate the retail sector, the government has recently reformed taxation laws so that small shops pay taxes on a regular monthly basis. Many transactions, however, go unrecorded. GDP Purchasing Power Parity, $172.4 billion, 2017 A. GDP, Real Growth Rate, 4.6%, 2017 A. GDP, Per Capita Purchasing Power Parity, $16.900, 2017 A. GDP, Composition by sector, agriculture, 5.5% industry, 33.8% services, 60.8%, 2017 A. Inflation rate, consumer prices, 3.3%, 2017 A. Labor force colon 4.732 million, 2017 A. Labor force, by occupation, agriculture, 14.4% industry. 20.8% services, 64.7%, 2014 A. Unemployment rate, 5.5%, 2017 A. Population below poverty line, 30.5%, 2016. Budget, revenues, $7.014 billion. Expenditures, $6.985 billion, 2007 A. Industries tourism, sugar processing, fair nickel and gold mining textiles, cement, tobacco, electrical components, medical devices, electricity, production colon 15.53 billion kilowatt hour, 2015, electricity, consumption colon 13.25 billion kilowatt hour, 2015, electricity, exports, 0 kilowatt hours, 2005, electricity, imports, 0 kilowatt hours, 2005, oil, production, 2014. Oil, consumption, 2012A. Oil, exports, 2017. Oil, imports, 2017. Oil, proved reserves, January 1, 2006. A. Natural gas, production, 0 cubic meters, 2005. A. Natural gas, consumption, 1.108 million cubic meter, 2015. A. Natural gas, exports, 0 cubic meters, 2005A. Natural gas, imports, 1.108 million cubic meter, 2015. Natural gas, proved reserves, 0 cubic meters, January 1, 2006A. Agriculture, products sugarcane, coffee, cotton, 
cocoa, tobacco, rice, beans, potatoes, corn, bananas, cattle, pigs, dairy products, beef, eggs. Exports colon dollar ten dot thirty three billion FOB 2017 A Exports Commodities Ferro Nickel Sugar Gold Silver Coffee Cocoa Tobacco Meats Consumer Goods Exports Partners United States fifty point four percent United Kingdom three point two percent Belgium two point four percent twenty seventeen Imports colon dollar nineteen billion FOB 2017 A Imports Commodities foodstuffs, petroleum, cotton and fabrics, chemicals and pharmaceuticals. Imports, partners United States 41.4%, China 13.9%, Mexico 4.5%, Brazil 4.3%, 2017. Debt, external colon dollar 29.69 billion, December 31st 2017A. Economic aid, recipient colon dollar 76.99 million. 2005. Currency Dominican Peso. Exchange rates Dominican Pesos per U.S. dollar, 33.113, 2007, 33.406, 2006, 30.409, 2005, 42.12, 2004, 30.831, 2003. Fiscal year calendar year. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.